This is the fourth way you can beat the ballot bandits on election day. Leave no vote behind. Your job is not done after you cast your vote. The second half of your job is to demand that all the votes are counted. If it seems that shenanigans are going down or if the exit polls show something different from the computers, then we all need to lose our minds. We all need to freak out worse than shaved-headed Brittany or long-bearded Mel Gibson or Chris Brown on a Tuesday. Don't go to sleep. Don't beer bong a stiff drink and call it a night. Don't flip off your TV and take your anger out on your... Hundreds of thousands of votes flipped in Ohio in 2004. Thousands of ballots lost in Florida in 2000. Hundreds of thousands of votes screwed with in Wisconsin in 2012. And each time everybody goes, Man, that's such a democracy buzzkill. It might take two pints of Ben and Jerry's to get over this. Don't let that happen this time. We need to stand up like Egypt on steroids, like Greece on Viagra, like Occupy on Fun Dip. Snort it. We must demand that every single vote is counted or else this democratic process that we're so proud of will look more like a bowel movement. This has been the fourth of seven ways to beat the ballot bandits, which you can get for free at BallotBandits.org or at the back of Greg Palace's new book, Billionaires and Ballot Bandits, How to Steal an Election in Nine Easy Steps. And I'm at LeeCamp.net. Keep fighting.